welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you've checked out my previous video that i did the diy of this little pretty off shoulder top so guys i did not uh introduce myself to you guys i'm so sure some of you are wondering who is this guy what i do blah 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 yeah so I had done a v an intro video but accidentally I deleted some parts of my footage so that's why I had to leave it out but my name is Lucille Cherus I'm a fashion stylist I'm an entrepreneur I have a thrift store Pali IG go check it out at Lucille Fashion Design I also did criminology and criminal justice as a profession so basically my channel will be about fashion style and hair but i will not be doing hair videos right now because i still have these bob braids on yeah so but after i undo them i'll now start incorporating um, hair videos in so also let me know what kind of hair videos will you'll want me to do so today's video is also a DIY. I realize you guys loved my previous one. So nearly decide new pay overdose. Huh? Yeah. Same head. So guys, I'm going to recreate my old tights into very cute fashionable and sexy swimsuit. Oh my god, I don't think you guys are ready for this cause. And in our mother. So without further ado, let's get into the video. What you'll need is a pair of scissor, pins, a needle, and a thread. Also, you'll need a template. For me, I'll be using my bikini underwear. So I'm just putting it in place so that I can get the actual measurement of the size of the undies that I want. I'm just going to cut all the way up just like the way the underwear was it's really easier if I had a chalk that way I'll just be able to draw and then cut it smoothly without struggling because I really did struggle here And I'm so dumb at this. Cutting things, oh my god. So I'll just take my time. Because we don't want to mess. I decided to cut one at a time so I I did cut the one pair of leg first and then I went in with the other pair because on it honestly it was really tough for me to do them both and finally we are done we now have our andies right there. Now that we have our andy, we are going to cut one pair of the leg all the way up. As I told you, I really do struggle cutting, cutting it 
through so I really do take my time doing it also guys please remember to give this video a thumbs up because it really do cheer me up to do more and more videos now that we are done we are going to go in again to cut it into two pieces and so now i'm just making it making sure that it's well placed so that i can cut it accurately By the way, you can as well as use both pair of le of the, of the legs, uh, as long as depends with the texture you want. If you want it light, you can do with one leg. If you want like uh, a thick texture, you can use both instead of you cutting. Yeah. So I'll just cut it through all the way up. Now that we have our two pieces, I'm going to sew it as I'm showing you. Yeah. This is way, way later after I have sewn the two pieces together. Uh, now I'm just taking uh, measurements from my collarbones all the way down to my waist my upper waist because we don't we have to know the length of the strap that we are going with now i'll just fold it like that and then i cut the extra piece of fabric that we don't need because we really do want something that fits well not too small not too baggy Now that you have that in place, we'll just have to place them in position and then go in with the pins. You'll have to pin them all the way from the middle part of your waist all the way to the side. And the reason as to why you are pinning it is for accuracy. You don't want uh the some pieces remaining out or falling off as you're sewing it down we want it to be placed at the right position and yeah you'll have to pin them both two sides like so and then after pinning it just go sew it and you are done. <laughs>